I always wonder if I were to like do a video shirtless if I'd get more views. <laughs> Try it. Want to see that? Sound off in the comment section below. I'm not doing that. Maybe. Not gonna rule it out, but I'd probably think about it. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick helpful trick that you can do to help fill in the patchiness within your beard. No Shave November was last month, so I'm a little late on the video. We are now halfway through the month of December, and some of you guys out there may be still rocking their more fuller facial hair. Maybe it's colder weather and you need it to stay warm. I don't blame you, it's freezing in Los Angeles. It was 70 degrees today. That's sweater weather. So if this video is of any interest to you, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and let's get started. So the first product I'm gonna be using is the Beard and Scruff Cream by Cremo. I think it's Cremo, Cremo, Cremo. I'm calling it Cremo, because that's what I first said it was gonna be. It's the Forest Blend, because I like the smell of trees, and I'm pretty sure I would want my face to smell like a tree as well. I like the outdoors. The product looks like a nice little paste right here. I just grab that much it in. This is going to basically condition um, the hair on my face to more of like a conditioned, smooth look. Who the f Shut up! <laughs> Someone's honking right now and it's really annoying. Please tell me you guys hear that. I'm not crazy. That's the product I just put on my face right there. I'm going to take just a regular beard comb. I have no idea where I got this from. I think it came with my razors. So I'm just gonna use it to kind of brush out the hairs on my face. You guys are probably like, why are you so close to the camera, bitch? So now we're gonna get down to the makeup part. You are gonna have to get just a regular eyeshadow palette. Don't spend a lot of money on it because you're honestly gonna be using that shade. With your product, swatch the dark color. Now you don't wanna just go and apply it to your face. You can do that, but you're gonna look like you just rolled in dirt. That's not cute. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm just gonna kind of swatch it. You then wanna kind of rub it in um, so your fingers should kind of look like this. We're gonna use this right here to cover up the patchiness in the beard to give it a shadowy look. I am very patchy right here, so I'm just gonna kind of apply it to this spot right there. Right. So, looking at my face straight on, you can see that I have more um, shadow on this side of my face as opposed to this side where I have a little less um, fullness. The eyeshadow is going to act as a shadow. People think that it's hair from far away when really it's eyeshadow. I am going to go in on the other side so that I have a nice even face. That's it. That's the final look, you guys. We have now filled in both sides. This was the first side I did. This is the other side. So looking at me from far away, it looks like I have a lot more facial hair than I did before. So if you enjoy growing your facial hair out and you wanna find a way to keep it up, but you're nervous that it's patchy, this is probably the best trick that you can do. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one and I wanna thank you guys for joining me in my bedroom because that's normal, right? This is where the magic happens. I have always wanted to say that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me, please make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Turn those notifications on, and I will see you all on my next video.